Hello everyone, welcome to Arthral Studio. This is Anuja and today we are going to color this painting that we created in our previous video. If you have not checked it, please do check that to know more about how the festival is celebrated and how do we do this drawing. To brief a little, this festival Batukama is celebrated in Telangana and we are going to start the coloring of it today. I will be using some synthetic brushes of various sizes, some acrylic paint. You may also choose to do poster colors as well. For this we have a very limited color palette which I have talked in my previous videos in my workshop. If you have not checked those videos, I suggest you check it to know more about the art and connect yourself to the art form. This art form is from Cherial, a very small town in Telangana. And here what color I'm using is sap green. For the ground we take up the sap green. For the backgrounds generally we take red. That is a predominant color in the Cherial paintings. We get to see the backgrounds in red, bright red color. Striking colors make the picture look very attractive and contemporary feel also. The figures are drawn in a side profile, very strict profile and the faces you will see is side even if the figure is front. So this festival, I'll brief you a little on the festival. This is a nine day festival, Batukama and it is celebrated on the first day marking the Mahalia Amavasya. It starts on the day and concludes on Navmi, that is just before Vijay Dashmi. But in Patukama, the ladies prepare beautiful flower stacks of seasonal flowers and do prayers, singing and celebrate it with great fervor. On the last day of the festival, the Patukamas or these trays are floated on the water. This symbolizes the abundance and the nature god Gauri. Now while painting this, here I am taking a green with mix of a little bit of yellow to give it a lighter shade. And I will be marking the tree. The tree looks really black with only the branches without drawing also you can just color directly filling up the base I prefer to do the outlines area first and then fill up the centers you may do that if in case you feel that there are few places where you're not getting the color perfect they will be layering on the trees and they will be doing the fruits and the leaves covering the whole green of the tree likewise the whole tree we will wait Till the tree the color of the tree dries up to do the line work or the detailing meanwhile we'll be filling up the background with bright red color here I have taken crimson and I'm filling it the whole area red in cherial paintings we see sometimes when depending on the setting of the place if in case it is in the fields we do it either sometimes brown or green Otherwise, wherever we see the sky or the palace or you have seen in the other videos of mine, you will see that the pre predominantly the red color sets in the background. Now border 
can be of different colors here I'm taking yellow because that's the most contrasting color stands against green and red you may also choose to take a blue color the colors chosen are red yellow brown blue black and white now little adjustments can be done in these colors by adding white or black to make it dull or bright so you can fix the tone all the ornamentation on the ladies i'm doing it with this yellow this yellow is not very bright and a toned down form by adding a little bit of brown or the burnt sienna you may also add indian red or any shade of brown to just mellow it down a little We'll go ahead and do all the ornaments of the ladies and the borders of the dress. Since this festive, it's a festival picture, we will make it a little more decorative as dressing ornamentation is a little high on a higher side during festivals. This festival, it's uh, the picture here depicts when the, the last day of the Bhattukama festival where these trays are taken to the waters for floating it and eventually they will immerse in water and they do this with a lot of singing, dancing and music. A lot of Bhattukama songs are sung. We are almost done with the details of the dress and the borders and the jewelry part here. Now we'll start with the hair. Here primarily we see that all the hair in the pictures, since it's a folk art, it will be black. Sometimes to mark the aging, we often, we sometimes do it grey. So it's only these two colours would be seen mainly in the paintings for hair. There is a very different posture for the old ladies. A little bent structure is made with grey hair and the, the colour of the dress will be very, very dull. Like browns and greys and whites. To find this um, as a beautiful festive picture, we are keeping things brighter here. In the dress also. If you have not subscribed the channel, Please subscribe and stay tuned because there are so many other videos that you will be benefited from and there are more to come. So if you are liking it, press a like button and share your comments or suggestions in the comment box. The wood part of the tree I am doing it in brown and the leaf is just white. So it's the line work here and now these days we get acrylic colors or the poster colors and we use them because they are very convenient. In olden days when the cherial paintings were practiced, this was done with zinc oxide. Different regions used different pigments for white like shell powder, chalk powder limestone powder so these things whatever the earth uh, gives they used to make the color from that and use it in their paintings and drawings generally the uh, themes of the paintings are gods and goddesses kings and the queens or the common festivals and celebrations and also the routine life of people so you will sometimes you will see the normal routine like grinding of the grains pounding husking and harvesting these things will be shown sometimes 
few festivals and celebrations, praying for the cow, giving grains to the to the people. Such things will also be seen. Putting kolam on the ground or taking out water from the well. These are the main subjects that you will see. And all the folks, men and women, will be seen doing the job. Here I am just doing a little bright yellow to mark the fruits. You may also choose to do flowers in the tree. After doing the base of the tree, which is green, you can do the leaves and then the flowers or the fruits, whatever you wish to. Now coming to the dress, I'm just filling it in on solid colors. Taking an orange for the dress. We do not do much of the shading in such pictures and the only little folds and the lines are created by contrasting colors and the lines. So strokes and the lines are very very obvious and not much shading is done. So the colors are flat filling of colors. The contrast or the matching uh, will be adjusted according to the dresses. So you'll see that the men's body is bare on the top with sometimes a, a cloth, unstitched cloth covering their body which you can see the two people. One is not having that, one is having that. totally depends on your imagination and your preference what color you want to choose for the dress what patterns you want to choose for the dress generally the ch colors are flat colors but we do little bit of motives dots lines and wavy patterns crisscrosses to mark a little bit of design on the dress So whatever colors I told, I'm just adding a little white to make it lighter and then I'm adding it to the picture. With the same colors, with line and flat coloring, you can create lots of designs. The level of these paintings is not very intricate and any beginner can choose to do that. I often get uh, people asking me what is the first, what should be the first folk art to take if we are a beginner. You can take any folk art that, that is based on the line drawing. Every, each and every work that you do will enhance your ability and control on the brush and on the pen that you use. A simple line drawing first and then later you can go on to a little more intricate and the shading um, shading uh, elements as well. Here in Cherry Alford and many of the four cards we do not include a lot of shade work. We see high shade works in Pitwai, Kerala murals. So those can be taken up later if you are a beginner and you don't you don't feel comfortable in that so start with the easy one and later you will feel more comfortable taking up anything that you want you do give it a try it will come up easy it's a bright lemon yellow color for the turban here Now it's very important to relate to what we are drawing and that's why this Putukama festival has its own history and celebrations. It was actually not celebrated in this 
um, at this scale which it has been it is being practiced now in india and abroad people started celebrating telangana has marked also marked the first day and the ninth day as a holiday so now it's achieving more uh, getting more love and it's getting more popular so it was in the rural areas it was practiced it was celebrated but now it has not limits to only those areas it is celebrated worldwide and and it's a very bright and a colorful festival we can add any ornamentation any any which way you want dots play a very important role in the painting but then when we do the base then later the details will come as the dots the jewelry are jewelries are mainly done in the bands and in the dots slowly with the beautiful bright colors the picture is taking up nice shape Arthran Studio is a is a platform where you can connect to me on the on my personal group also you can message me on my facebook page and you can follow me on my instagram as well we do personal classes also on different art forms not only folk arts but other art forms as well fine arts is also one of the things that we take up uh, very elaborately sketching portraits and anatomy so if in case you want to enroll so please support the channel also and you can just write a message if you are interested to learn more about the art forms So here this picture is coming out well the stacks are the seasonal flowers marigold rose so general the flower colors are kept in a stack this is always in a pyramid kind and these are really small stacks but people do make the tallest stacks for it and then the ladies they beautifully dress up themselves in the evening and this is a festival that's that is celebrated in the evening they circle they sing around these batukamas and celebrate so there's a lot of singing dancing involved and later up later it is immersed in the water this is very bright and beautiful because uh, the flower stacks look very very nice so it was when i was doing the series when i was doing the workshop on this then did i come across this and i thought okay what is this and that's when you think about something you want to know more about so i did a lot of research and then i got to know about this festival their importance duration how it is celebrated hearing to some of the songs which i don't really understand because it is in the in a very local uh, dialect so but it, the whole fun uh, was very appealing so i was really taken by the festival it was beautiful here giving the details on the grass also few dots and then if you want to make it a longer stack you can make a line but some small growing grass some big bushes on the ground this breaks the monotony of the background also and creates element so there's a visual appeal on all these things this can be done in white or uh, yellow 
I am using a waterproof pen to do these lines. You may also use the brush. Yeah, so both, both. You will see that when you do it with the brush, the lines will be more obvious and the strokes will be uh, standing out. So I always prefer brush over the pen drawing. Because uh, the strokes that you get from the brush are uh, have a beauty. So they go from thick to thin. The stroke gets um, feathery. You can control the stroke. But with the pen you will get a uniform line. So wherever I did the drawing, I am making a little bit of with the brush so that it stands out. Here you can see the difference clearly with the brush how it comes. So even if you have made it with a pen, some portions which you really want to make it really obvious and prominent, then you have to do it with the brush. Take a thin liner brush. We do get liner brush. The beauty of the liner brush is that it's very thin and you don't get broad lines. This is how the picture has come out to be. I have added few white flowers in the background and a very simple border. I hope you like this. If you've liked it, do subscribe and share your love with me. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time with a new video tutorial. Till then, take care. Goodbye.